everyone. I am your professor, Janet Bartholomew, and I'm going to be showing you exactly how to set up a paper using MLA format um, with Microsoft Word. So I know that there's a lot of word processing programs out there that students use, um, such as Google Docs. And um, I'm going to be talking about Word because Word is actually something that's on all of the computers on campus, so everyone has access to it. But just to let you know, if you are a JC student, you also have access to an online version of Microsoft Word and all of the Microsoft suites through your email. And um, I can show you how to get to that at a later time. So. Um, what we are starting here, I just opened a blank new document on Microsoft Word and some things are fine for MLA format. We have a one inch margin on either side. That's usually the standard that, um, MS Word is, uh, set to, but, um, we do need to change some things. So, um, for whatever reason, they always, um, at least the presets that mine came with, it's at 11 point font in MLA format. You really want to have 12 point and everything is uniformly 12 point. So that does not change. Um, and then as far as the font that you select, uh, MLA has, uh, I should say modern language association is what MLA stands for. Uh, they have a relax the rules a little bit over the years. So, um, basically you want to choose a font that is professional and clear, uh, something that is not super artistic or stylized. So, um, I've just pulled up some of my recently used fonts. Um, old English text, minstrel, Edwardian script, um, Algerian, and even something like Britannic bold. Those are really fun when you're putting together a flyer, but not appropriate for a college paper. Um, the other thing is that you need to choose a font that is easy to read. So think about uh, your target audience and your professor. And it should also be something that would print easily and potentially be photocopied easily. Uh, so you don't want to do anything super skinny like this agency font down here. Um, and you also want to avoid fonts that are uh, appear permanently bolded or italicized because you need to be able to have a font that you can tell very easily if something is in italics or bolded. Um, plus, the heavy, bold fonts kind of give the impression that you're shouting, <laughs> depending on what they are, and you don't want that in an academic paper. So the go-to's um, Times New Roman is the one I always go to. It is very old and standard. Um, Arial is another one. Uh, there's many now in the latest version of Microsoft Word. There's many that would be considered appropriate as far as the MLA is concerned. So I'm just going to do Times New Roman. It's been around forever. Um, the other thing that you need to do to set up your page so that it is an MLA format is you actually have to um, play with the spacing. So uh, when you are on the home tab, if you go to paragraph and you click this arrow right here, you are opening the, the paragraph features. And there's a few things that MS Word does that um, comes as the default and you wanna change those too. So uh, one is all of the spacing has to be uniform. So you wanna get rid of this where it says after a point, you wanna drop that to zero. This means every time you hit enter or return and start a new line, it's not going to put any extra spaces in there. Um, and then you want to make sure that the line spacing is set to double. So what that'll do is that will give you a line of text and then an empty line and then a line of text and an empty line. And you want that. It needs to be uniform um, and professional looking and very neat. You don't want extra spaces anywhere. So I'm going to hit OK. Um, you'll notice in the paragraph up here, this little button that is aligned to the left. 
that's what you want is also called left justified the preset is often this um, if you for whatever reason have set yours to something else you need to have that button selected and so we're going to go into the heading right now so on an MLA paper at the top of the first page just the first page you have to put your name so I'm going to call you John Doe student John Doe um, and then you put your professor's name Uh, you might have to uh, ask your professor or check the syllabus to see uh, what he or she likes to be called. Um, often professors will prefer doctor if they have a doctorate, but you might have a professor that has something like an MFA um, or a degree other than a doctorate. So um, you can call those professor or you can just across the board professors who have doctorates and don't have doctorates have other higher ed degrees um, all of them could be called professors so that might be a, a, a safety thing but there should be some kind of formal recognition up here um, so even if you have to do miss or missus but that's more of a high school thing for college you should just call everybody either professor or if they have a doctorate, you can call them doctor, so-and-so. Um, so then you have the name of the class. So I'm going to put just the, this is just an example. So this is basically the official college name of the course. This is helpful um, both to you and to your professor. Um, professors collect a lot of papers, so it's helpful to know uh, just by a glancing at it, what class this paper belongs to. It does take us usually um, a couple of weeks to get everybody's name down. So this is another way you can help. Um, the other thing is it'll also tell you too that if you're turning in the wrong paper <laughs> for, or a paper from another class. And then comes the date. So if you look over in the corner, um, the date is September the 3rd. And in MLA, it is set up in a very specific way. It might be a bit counterintuitive if you're not familiar with it, but uh, it's September 3rd, so you put the, the number of the day of the month, and then you spell out the month, and then you put the year. And there you go. So there's no dashes, no slashes, no periods, no commas. It's just straightforward. Then you hit enter. And I'll take you to the next line. And this is the line the title of the paper goes on. So with MLA, there's not any extra spacing. Everything is uniformly double spaced. So you just want to hit enter once, get your cursor to the next line down. And um, this is the only thing that you're going to center when you're setting up a paper. So um, I do recommend titles for everything you turn in unless, you know, your professor has told you otherwise. But it's a good way to help you and your professor identify quickly what this is. So um, let's go ahead and make up a title. It's probably boring. I would probably change it later to something a little bit more eye-catching. But um, how MLA format is fun. Ooh, fun as well and functional okay so <laughs> if a student turned that in I would be like um ah, you know maybe think of all other ones but for now they'll serve a purpose so you hit return and then the next line down is when you start your paragraph so in MLA format when you're doing an essay paragraphs are indented by a half inch so you want to go ahead and hit the tab button on the left side of your keyboard. It's usually preset to a half inch and then you can start your paper. Uh, so I'm just going to start with just a random sentence. Um, did you ever wonder what one of the most effective formats is? for your college 
English paper. The Modern Language Association has the solution for you. Okay, so not that this would actually be a decent paper, but um, at least now you can see what this looks like. Uh, notice that this title is not underlined. It is not in bold. It is not a different font. It is not in a color other than black. And it is also not offset by extra spaces. Far too many times I see students who do things like they'll have a bunch of spaces before their title. And that is not MLA format. In fact, it not only does not look very professional, um, but it also looks like you're just trying to get extra space. So you do not want to do that. You also don't want your font to be giant. I mean, that looks very, uh, very grade school. <laughs> um, in MLA format, everything is 12 point font. There, the title is not underlined. It is not italicized. Um, it is not in bold. The only thing um, that would have something like that in it is if you are mentioning, let's say, like the title of a book. Um, so maybe you're looking at gothic influences in Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre is the title of a book, so that would be italicized in MLA format. But again, it's not the whole title. It's just the title of the book. Um, so this is what it's going to look like. It's very plain, but it's very simple and direct. Now, the next thing that you also have to do is you have to put a header um, up here. And in MLA format, the, the header is an inch over, but it's only a half inch from the top. So in MS Word, to get to the header, you want to go to Insert. And over here, under Header and Footer, you can see where this is. And so I'm going to uh, go to header and then you can kind of see what these look like. Um, there's many different things that MS Word has in it. Some of them are very fancy. You do not want any graphics up in the, the header or the footer. Um, so ignore all the ones that are really fancy and uh, you just want to uh, pick a plain one. So I just usually pick um, something like this, like the blank one, and then I edit it. Uh, the other thing up on this insert tab you need is the page number. So in MLA format, the page number always goes to the top of the page, and you do want to do an insert page number because you want the pages to be um, to, to auto number so that you have page one, two, three, four, etc. Uh, so Again, you don't want any extra lines. Um, some students will choose this accent bar that has like a slash and a bar. You don't want anything like that. You just want to do something plain and it is right justified. So your text is has been consistently on the left side. The number needs to go onto the right. So I'm going to go to top page and, I'll, and I'm going to start with just the page number. So I'm going to enter plain page number to the right. And there it is. It's highlighted. Um, so I'm going to actually click so that, oops, so that I, my little cursor is in front of the number. Okay. Because you have to put your last name at the top in the header. And this is also going to appear on every single page. So, uh, your name is John Doe, student John Doe. Um, so we're going to put that right there and then a space. So that's what it looks like now for the next trick. I'm highlighting all of this and that's because in MS Word, the header and footer can be different fonts from the essay. So you actually have to set these fonts as well. So when you first highlight, you will get a, a fast menu that pops up like here where you can change the um, the size and again you want to do 12 point um, you can also you also want your text in the header and footer to match what you've selected for the uh, text of your essay 
Um, if you highlight it and then you had to click on something else, no problem. Just go back to the home page and you'll see that the, as long as you're highlighted in the header, um, you can change it. So we're going to change it to 12 and we're going to change it to Times New Roman. Notice how in MLA format, it's very clean and specific. There's no words like page in there. It's just your last name, space, and then the page number itself. Now, the other thing about MS Word <laughs> is that you can't um, just go in and start typing because you're going to be stuck in this header function. So um, to get rid of this header and get back to the main body, what you do is um, up here where it has turned green, where it says header and footer tools design, click on that and you get all of this information. Um, by the way, you do want to check this as well. Make sure that you're talking about a half inch from the top. And as you can see, it's, it's already lined up with the one inch. And then what you want to do is exit out of the, the header and footer. So click on the X there. And there you go. Um, so now you're ready to compose a paper using MLA format. And um, I will have other videos in how to set up MLA bibliographies and that type of thing later. But um, yeah, I think that's it for now. So good luck, everybody. Happy paper writing. Don't forget to impress. Um, your professor by doing a basic spell check, please spell check your paper. Um, the other thing that's also very helpful to your professors is if you name the file something that is actually helpful should the professor need to download it. Um, so um, it's also helpful for you too. So don't just save it as document number 143. Uh, say, you know, this is my you know, literacy narrative. Um, maybe you can call it profile paper or uh, John Doe paper one or, um, you know, whatever the name of the assignment is, just so that you know where it is, what it is at a glance, but also um, if you have to upload it to the website, your professor knows when they download it because not, um, not the uh, file may or may not have your name readily available. Um, as part of the download. So, all right, there you go. Crash Course, MLA Format, and Microsoft Word. If you have any questions, please let me know. Happy writing, everybody.